Latino Avila. Boxer puncher. You know, I can box, but if it comes down to it, I can throw blows and take a blow. A five foot seven featherweight champion. A passion for punching. An obsession with boxing beginning at the age 10. When I was 10, you know, my dad put me in boxing because when I was younger, you know, my dad see me in the streets all the time and where a cop would bring me home saying I'm disturbing the, the neighbors. So you know, my dad's like, man, we gotta get this kid out of the streets. A Fairfield fighter. One man sport. Compiling a 48 and six amateur record. If I mess up, I know it's my fault and nobody else's. Since turning pro in 2010, Tino remains undefeated at 22 and 0. Eight wins by way of knockout. It means a lot to me, you know. A lot of people can be undefeated, but you know, I fought veterans, I fought ex-world champions, and not only fought ex-world champions and veterans, I have the knockouts against them. You know, pretty much the harder the opponent, the, the knockouts were is where it comes. A long road in the ring, trying to achieve glory. Like going through hell. You know, it's a lot of up and downs, uh, a lot of injuries, a lot of, uh, you know, fights that fall out, you know. Tino puts his undefeated record on the line with his biggest fight of his career coming up. Stepping into the Las Vegas spotlight, the Golden Boy, set to face 2012 U.S. Olympian Jojo Diaz Jr. You know, when he first turned pro, he was uh, the big shot, Mr. Olympian type of deal. Respect for Diaz's record, a perfect 23-0 and with 13 knockouts one of the best left-handers but uh you know still another guy in front of me and you know nobody's gonna be taking my undefeated record a chance to be a real contender uh, i'm doing a little bit more conditioning than just straight boxing uh but other than that not not too much you know it's still i still train hard like i guess the fight of my life the mentality remains the same a fight's a fight it doesn't matter where or with who but the motivation may be a little different. I got my daughter to fight for, you know. Uh, after my last fight, I kind of felt like maybe I should call it quits. You know, the not too good of a fight. And I got roughed up pretty bad. And, you know, now it's just fighting for her, so I gotta fight a little bit smarter. You know, I gotta be more careful, more cautious, and, you know, pretty much keep my hands up. <laughs> In Vacaville, Michelle Dapper, KCRA 3 News.